this, this Constitution will become the basis of government of all the 13 states as soon as nine of the states shall have ratified it. If this convention should reject this Constitution or adjourn without acting upon it, we may still become a part of that government, but in a way which would reflect on the honor of our little state. We must show our complete confidence in the five delegates to the Philadelphia Convention who so ably defended our rights at every session of that convention. They are unanimous in believing that this final document is as nearly perfect as human mind can devise. Finally, I want to, to impress on you that I personally feel that upon the ratification of this Constitution depends not only our prosperity and felicity, but our national existence as well. <laughs> Gentlemen, the future of this state is in your hands. Since the only order of business now remaining before the convention is the ratification of this new constitution by the Delaware State, I will ask the secretary to read the document. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Article 1, Section 1. Mr. President. The Chair recognizes Colonel Allen McLean of Kent County. The delegates are familiar with every article and every section of this document, as I think the people of Delaware are. In order to expedite the work of this convention, I move that so much shall be considered the reading of the Constitution. I second the motion. It having been duly moved and seconded that so much shall be considered the reading of the Constitution, I will put the question. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. The ayes have it and so much shall be considered the reading of the Constitution. The convention is now ready to discuss our action on this document. A committee having agreed upon the wording of a resolution on which we will vote, I will ask the secretary to read the resolution. We, the deputies of the Delaware State in convention met, having taken into our serious consideration the federal constitution proposed and agreed upon by the deputies of the United States in a general convention held in Philadelphia on the 17th day of September in the year of our Lord, 1787 and by these presents do in virtue of the power and authority to us given for that purpose and in behalf of ourselves and our constituents fully, freely, and entirely approve of, assent to, ratify, and confirm the said Constitution done in convention this seventh day of December in the year aforesaid and in the year of the independence of the United States the 12th. vote is taken, it will be in favor of or in opposition to this resolution. But first I think we should hear from our delegates who also attended the convention in Philadelphia. I will call upon the Honorable Richard Bassett of Kent County. Mr. President and gentlemen of this convention, I deem it a great honor to have been one of the deputies chosen to represent the Delaware State at the convention in Philadelphia. I do not think that any of the delegates here feel that this Constitution represents all that they hoped and wanted. But I do know that the vast majority are not only satisfied, but enthusiastic about it. Now, if all the states ratify, 
as I am sure they will, then we will have an entirely new government. We will have a strong executive to guide our destinies. And may I say here now that there is only one man who I feel now best qualified to fill that post, General George Washington of Virginia. But he cannot become too strong. He will never be a despot because this Constitution sets up a series of checks and balances which will prevent either the executive, the legislative, or the judicial branch from ever dominating this government. <laughs> Gentlemen, I say this to you in all sincerity, that I believe that our deliberations in Philadelphia were directed by Almighty God. I believe that we, the delegates of the Delaware State, cannot do otherwise than to vote for ratification of that Constitution. And I strongly urge that such action be taken at once. Thank you, Mr. Bassett. Mr. President, times are extremely bad in Sussex County. Some 400 of our citizens have signed petition to have the state issue more paper money to help correct this situation. Under this Constitution, the states would lose their rights to issue money. I would like to ask Mr. Bassett if he thinks this is just and fair. Mr. President, the delegate from Sussex has touched on one of the basic needs for this Constitution. We must have one national currency in which we can have faith. Now we have 13 different kinds, some good, some very bad, and a continental currency which is a disgrace. Now this Constitution will provide the answer. With money we can depend on to be worth the same in Massachusetts and Georgia as in Delaware, we can look forward to building a strong national commerce in such a manner that everyone will benefit. I will now call upon our other delegate to the convention, the Honorable Gunning Bedford, Jr. of Newcastle County. President. Gentlemen, as you all know, the Delaware delegation to the Philadelphia Convention went there with the specific instructions of the assembly of this state that we should approve of no change in the Articles of Confederation, which provides that each state shall have an equal vote in the Congress. This Constitution provides for a bicameral legislature in which there shall be representation according to population in the lower house and equal representation in the upper and, I believe, much more important house. Now, I feel that this compromise is acceptable to the people of Delaware as it was to your delegates in the convention. Furthermore, we were all convinced that a strong national government ought to be set up. And so we went along with the proposal that instead of merely revising the Articles of Confederation, the convention would draft a new constitution establishing a strong national government with supreme legislative, executive, and judicial branches. We agreed not to secede if those changes which we opposed were discussed although we might do so if they were adopted. Mr. Dickinson was the one who first advanced the idea of the compromise which appears in this Constitution. He said in a debate that the accidental lucky division of this country into separate and distinct states gave it its best security for freedom in the future. He said that he hoped that this division would be perpetuated and that each state would have an equal vote in at least one branch of the national legislature. I hope that we 30 men gathered here today can be as unanimous in our vote as were the five convention delegates to Philadelphia. Here, 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 here. Let us make all Delawareans now and forever proud to say that our state was the first state to ratify the federal constitution. Here, here, here. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President.